Genesis Radio, the future of radio and podcast. No limit to what we do. I Access Radio, WIAX, the future of radio and podcast. No limit to what we do. Instagram. Shout out everybody on my Instagram. Make sure y'all follow iAxis Radio. Make sure y'all follow September K Bronx Beats and Bars on YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe, uh, subscribe, 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 and all that good stuff. What's good, bro? Ah, we got the people coming in. Don't forget, make sure y'all call in 347 708 0216. Please do not call here on no bullshit. We here to have peace, love, <laughs> tranquil. No, because some people, because I want to know, as you know, because Kate, because I, 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 bitch. Oh, y'all be cussing on here? I'm right. You do what you want on here. That's why we here. <laughs> <laughs> say, 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 say. <laughs> For those of y'all who don't know, Say Park is a singer mm-hmm. who's, to me, is like very underrated, who's got hits, but Thank you know, you. you know, we just, you know, say, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> And say got a team behind him. Say say got a mean team, and you know what I'm saying. But say be you know what's up. So so you know what's funny. The funny thing about it is that I was thinking about the other day when we had a conversation when you was like um you was like so what's going on why you keep just keep giving us three songs at a time or one song at a time and say, you was say, like fuck y'all. You, <laughs> was like, you was like where the album? So the album has been in works for like four years. Say I know. 
It's been a work for four years, and I think to everybody who doesn't do music, they might think that like that's insane, but it's not insane. It's actually musicians, artists, were like we're very indecisive, and, and I get we that. Will, yeah, we will put together like a project and then sit on it for like a year because you want to make sure that you know it's right. It's great, yeah. and I had like the thought process to put this project out like four times already. Mm -hmm. And every time I had to sit on it, I had to cut things. I had to, there was a lot of things going on. There was like financial things going on. Right. And then the pandemic happened. Yeah. And when I was kind of getting like a little bit of steam, everything just kind of sidetracked. But you put out the last EP, you put out them little three hit, not little, let me not say yeah, little. No, no. <laughs> let me not do that because that's not cool. The While We Wait Project, yeah. The While We Wait Project, I was, I'll never forget. <laughs> I'll never forget, because no, because you know we're going to play some shit from that. <laughs> I was in the shower, and mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Let me listen to my boy. Mm -hmm. All I hear, you know, fuck with everybody. <laughs> you kind of, and you have this type of voice where it's like if you were somebody here, you like, you know, fuck with everybody. <laughs> you kind of snotty. But it's very much I those love records. it. It's, it's so, and, and a shout out to Pretty F for doing her thing first, on the, on the yeah. track, too. Big yeah, first yeah. in the building and all that. But at the end of the day, it was just like, yo. Where's the rest? I was so hungry for more. You were Cola Ray. That's her name, right? Cola Ray? Cola Ray, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vocals. Cola, Cola. She was just did on the tiny, the tiny box, the, the concert thing. The tiny desk thing? I think she did, did tiny she? desk with, um, what's his name? Oh, I know she dirty just... dirty rap. Not the dirty rap. The yeah, dirty rap. He's a dirty... Everybody call him dirty white just, dude. I um, know she just did, um, she just did Raccoon show. So shout out to Raccoon. Um, he okay. just had orange, orange... Four, I think this time it was Ooh. Orange Four. She just performed on there. So shout out to Cola, shout out to Raccoon, shout out to everybody that did that show. So and she's amazing. And then it was Cola just like amazing. she dances, she sings, she writes. Her ass yeah, well. and she it's just everything. like when I heard it, I was like, wait, where's the rest? What's up? But I do understand also because like it took me this long. Like I didn't do an interview in like two years before mm -hmm. I did the podcast. Mm -hmm. So I get it. It's just like, yo, when you ready, you ready. And when you not, you not. And yeah. it's like, you know, I, I understand, you know, you don't fuck with everybody. <laughs> you kind of, <laughs> No, because that's so, no, say for real. You really was like, I'm going to bed. And it's like, well, if you say that and somebody is like, I'm going to take off my drawers now. My drawers. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. So, yeah, because you got you it. So when did you start, like, when, when did you start singing? When did you say, you know what, I want to do this, like, like for real, for real. For real, for real, it was uh, like the year that I graduated college, which was like 2014. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 2014, I decided I wanted to do this for real, for real. I auditioned for like a boy band. So now, now people, a lot of people know this. I auditioned for a boy band twice. And um, I didn't get it. And then I was like, uh, let me see if I can do this by myself, right? So I was just like, just doing little things here and there. And then I started taking it seriously, seriously. And I was like, no, I fuck, I fuck with this. I was like, this is actually, like, I, I actually, I always knew I was talented. Right. But I think the issue that I had was like singing publicly in front of people. Dancing in front of people was never an issue for me. But I mm -hmm. think singing in front of people was always something that I was like, uh, I don't know if I could do that. You know, my family knew I could sing, but like not in front of everybody else. So once, mm -hmm. I, once I got over that hump and once I got over the idea of hearing myself recorded, because that was another thing, okay. hearing your voice recorded yeah. for the first time mm -hmm. is something that you're like, who the hell is that? Yeah. Right? So once I got over that too, I was like, oh no, I'm ready for this. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah so I, I started taking it seriously from then. Ow. And everything kind of just fell into place for me. Good. You know, it was one of those things that I kind of got lucky in the beginning. Good. Like now, so when I mean what I mean by that is that like a lot of artists like in the beginning when they're first doing it, they don't really have a team, they don't really have nobody behind them doing anything. Like in the beginning, like I had like a decent team behind me, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it was easier to kind of do things. Like now, since the pandemic, like everyone's moved away, everyone's living like different lives. So it's like now I'm kind of going through I think what artists originally go through in the beginning, right? Which is finding new people to work with, finding yourself. You know. And, and just getting down to it. Yeah. All right. Now, we'll be back with more Say Park. But right now, I have a world premiere. <laughs> like, I don't have, like, you know, the sound effects and all that. So, we going to do this shit by myself. <laughs> 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 so, no, shout out to my guys. This is the group that ate. I had premiered a... On my first episode, they had a um, song, Writings on the Wall, which was really dope. Mm -hmm. um, and they just dropped another one. Like, another video and it's called second lap so we about to get into that real quick and more with say park on bronx beats and bars a podcast right after this burr, 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 burr. <laughs>
See the writing on the walls, now they hear our story Been through all the pain, ain't no guts, no glory Ain't no fucking warnings Right there in the rain when it was fucking storming No we yelling, try to stop these teardrops from falling See we could do with our backs against the wall Some niggas either fold them with left or owe some dope Guess they forgot the code, I'm smooth like lean though Second lap is personal as we proceed though Before the major losses, before we left the scene bro Rest in peace YB, rest in peace Lino, rest in peace Gus Some not here in the physical, if you ain't around it's personal Not shit that we did to you if I call you my brother Not no bitch, not no money, could ever separate us Got no uh, time for moving look, funny I saw a nigga that dealt real work turn into a custody Rather real hate than a liar saying they love me I'm what the game been missing, but don't console me I'm used to the overlooking, writings on the wall behind all these bars She like the bookings Daddy go on prep with the meal, you can watch us cook it, we in it If you can't take the heat, then get out the kitchen Killer, miss a murder one, we ain't never heard of them Thinking that they really fucking with me, shit the nerve of them Once we get the boy, y'all niggas never get a turn again Gotta turn them losses into lessons, they ain't learn again Never burnt the bridge that I ever had to cross again If we did, we playing chess, cross it and get burnt again My enemy's enemy, he can turn a friend I was born with it, got on with it, still uh, had to learn a way uh, Yeah, uh, look Took so many L's just like a stone, I had to learn to win God, you see my good D Satan, don't you go and burn my sins Be party on the deep and Lil Guppies gotta earn your fence You really gotta earn your stripe, these savages will take your life Why ain't pay attention, tunnel vision the mission Now we in the same chapter, same page, same visions Used to treat the stool like the trap, stacking chippers Used to run B and now it's Donnie with my kin uh, Sides got shows, hearts got broken, somewhere minds got froze Can't forget this shit, could whip this shit with my eyes closed They around for the highs, nobody there for the lows, different league, gotta prepare for the pros. Remember sharing my clothes with some niggas that I let in my home. Still ain't around, but you was there, I suppose. And it's deeper than that. How though for I'm speaking about it, cause it's deeper than rap. Got bro name tatted on me, but it's deeper than tats. They know we only speak on the facts. It is what it is, it's no getting back. You know I'm young when he dumb. My 90s flow so good both from heaven to earth. We forever stumping yeah. on folks. At times the lies overpower the truth, but that's how it goes. The real gon' recognize real, so just play a role. I've been ballin' since the youngin' in the Bronx, like the Chos. From the concrete jungle, I grew a rose. This is straight A shit. All the names tagged is monumental. This is greatness. Written in stone, so you can't erase this. It's destined. This is the second lap. It's a marathon. Appreciate the writings on the wall. Be coming for it all. Listen, man, to be honest with you, you're a little good. Your friends are making comments on this, so. You might as well talk to me. You might as well help me. me. Yeah, I can help you. So, I you still be all about respect. I respect you, you respect me. I don't respect you, nigga. I'm fucking going to the final match. That's yeah, really yeah. Ow, and we are bit it 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 back. That was the eight second lap. Make sure y'all check out their album. The writing's on the wall. Out now, streaming everywhere. Shout out to Hitmaker Dot. Shout out to Bigger. Shout out to B Hill. Shout out to Ju. Shout out to Impact. Shout out to Dell. Shout out to the whole team. Like everybody in here doing their big ones. So you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all stream that album out now. We are back here. September K Bronx Beats and Bars in the building with Safe Park. Hey. Say, 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 <laughs> say. No, cause that is so <laughs> so silly. No, cause <laughs> remember. <laughs> so me and Say. <laughs> you are so silly. This is the Pretty Prince of Pretty Prince of the Bronx. Uh. Yeah, and you know where I'm going. Last year, oh shit, yeah, yeah, <laughs> a year ago we were somewhere. <laughs> we was no we shout was out to somewhere. Latin Connection. Nah, they was fired. That was our team. I they still was, follow them on the gram. They was fired. They was fired. They had they shit together. They, they uniforms, did. everything. They did. It was everybody else that was not put together. But, <laughs> oh, God. You know. No, <laughs> that was fun though. It was. We had that time. was that was really fun. That was like one of like the first events I went to like outside of the pandemic. So, damn. Yeah, I was in the house and I was working. Damn. Yeah, I work a lot now. So, how you like a job? But <laughs> don't be mad. Work. UPS is higher. Work is <laughs> work is work. <laughs> oh god, yo, this is crazy. All right, so we back here with Say Park, and we want to talk more about like artist development, artistry, and whatnot. And mm-hmm. you know, a lot of. What I what I like about what you said is the fact that, you know, it takes time. It you does. know, artistry, people want to rush into projects and then put something out and it be like, 
trash and then it's not received the way they want and then it's like a whole spiraling and everything mm -hmm. take me through your creative process my creative process so <laughs> so that's funny so a lot of songs that i have are usually like kind of old because so i'm not one of those artists that like i write to beats like really like quickly mm -hmm. like it takes a little time for me to kind of mm -hmm. Kind of find the melody, right? Because it has to come to me, gotcha. right? So, and once I do that, once I like find the melody, I I don't like record them. Like I guess like other artists, like they'll find a melody in the song, right? Mm -hmm. They'll record it, or you know, they'll do like a little rough draft or whatever in mm -hmm. order to keep their stuff. I do a lot of voice notes, so okay. a lot of what's in my phone is honestly a lot of me like humming beats. Okay. And the funny thing about it is that like I'll be at work like in the elevator and something will hit me, and there'll be like a thousand people in there, and I would just voice record like voice note it. Listen, that's what you got. I have to, to because if not, I'm gonna forget the the you melody, know, the melody like or whatever. Is. So that's kind of like the start of it. Like once I get the melody down and I'm able to voice voice note or whatever, I'll go home or it'll take me like a couple of days and I'll just like start writing things to it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll I'll write something first to it, right? And then I'll sit on it for like a week. Yeah. And then from there, I like re-listen to what I what I was voice noting, and I was like, okay, this kind of sounds like Kids Bob. Let me not kids. Let me, because no, a lot of times too, like with writing, because that's like a big thing for me now too, with yeah. writing is that it can sound monotonous, it can sound very boring, it can sound like kids bop, it can sound childish. And it's like as you get older and as you progress like as an artist, you wanna make sure that your writing is kind of what's conducive of what's out now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing for me too. Like I, I take time with my writing. Because I want to make sure that it's, I want to make sure that it's original, and I'm going to make sure that it's something that I'm comfortable with. Like yeah. I don't know nothing about gangbanging, so I'm not singing anything about gangbanging. This is honestly for my homie. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, like that's how that's how I look at things like that. No, that's true though, because some people, I think that's where it's like a lot of people get it twisted, because it's like, yo, stick to what you know. Yeah, I, I'm and, telling you. And as a writer, but I mean, you could write that for somebody yeah. else, though, yeah. right? You, I mean, realistically, I could. I could write that for somebody else. I could write a song like that for myself. Yeah. But it's not going to be authentic because I don't gangbang. <laughs> And it's what obvious that I don't gang back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but yeah, that's basically that's basically um, you know, kind of kind of what I go through. Once once I get the melody down, once I write my stuff, I'm good to go. So, who are some of the artists that you worked with? I work with a couple of people. Um, I work with Coney Brooks. Shout out Coney Brooks. That's the bro. Um, for sure, for sure. Teddy Grahams is another. Shout out Teddy. I'm on a whole friend. lot of whole shit. And that's that's the bro. Um, I work with again. I work with Cola Ray. She's a fire artist out of the she Bronx really as is. well. Um, really I work with Fame. Ray Fame. Um, Rest in peace to Fame. Yeah. Um, I work with a bunch of. The funny thing about it is that I'm actually on a lot of stuff for artists. Like I do like a lot of background vocals and stuff. Ooh, so I'm, 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 on a, I'm on a lot of shit. <laughs> nah, because that's so where it's at. People don't know. That. Like, when you do the background vocals, you be like, oh, snap. Well, back, well. So my original uh -huh. my original producer worked with somebody who's pretty big. So I'm on a lot of background vocals for a lot of big people. I just don't say anything about it. You get a big check? Can I get some money? I got a decent check. You want a dollar? I was going to say something. <laughs> but I'm going to leave that. You want a bottle? <laughs> I'll get you a bottle for your birthday. Give me a bottle of Virgo. <laughs> Big Virgo season. Big Virgo energy. Big Virgo energy. They be hanging on us. I love when this season comes around. Yo, because we are we are so disrespectful. In every way possible. And just like, and? And I got my out. birthday outfit. And I'm hyped. First of all, <laughs> <clears throat> yo, the birthday, I can't wait. My birthday is going to be a time. Oh, I don't even want to talk shit. about it, but the way I'm going to show up and show out. I believe you, too, because every year that you, for your birthday, you take off, you take vacation from work, <laughs> which is a thing. You always somewhere, <laughs> and then it's always like, oh, birthday weekend loaded, and then birthday weekend be starting on Wednesdays. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> and then it be loaded from Wednesdays. So I'm with the foolishness this year. I want to go out with you. I want to go out be, with you. First of all, the because my birthday's on a Monday this year. My birthday's on the third Wednesday. My birthday's on a Wednesday. But I'm with the, the way my job got me set up going to Ohio the Monday prior. I'm with the nonsense. I said, what? Ohio? Let me call my peoples out in Ohio. <laughs> Yo, I'm coming out there. They like, yes, we coming to get you. We're going to do dinner. Say less. And then in the middle of that week, 
like the day after my birthday, I'm going to New Orleans. <laughs> then I'm going dolo. <laughs> Sick of you. I don't fuck with everybody. <laughs> ah, that's oh god. <laughs> See, people love that line though. No, because and that I love line that people is, love that line. First of all, that song is hot. I'm glad you like, like it. Like I really Thank like you. it. Thank like and, and and it's just so smooth. Like it oh, is. Like silk huh? coming out the mouth. Pause. <laughs> Thank you. Like oh. <laughs> Thank you. Give Thank it to him one time. Oh. <laughs> No, but I just, I love your voice. It's unique. It's not like you comfortable in your tone. Like yes. you're comfortable just on the level where it's like, this is me. This is not, we not getting Mariah. So, you know, it's <laughs> funny uh -huh. that you say that because I've been working on some stuff. So I want to tell you a hundred percent. My mm -hmm. project is actually finished. Say, like, get out my, so get out the studio, my, say, my cause we could have been playing it right my now. My project is finished. I'm coming uh -huh. to the album release. 96% finished, right? Okay. And I've done... How many tracks? Because don't do me nine. with the three. Okay. We got nine songs. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Cause... Nine songs officially. Um, My project is finished. Um, It's just a factor of marketing, putting okay. it out properly, promoting right. it properly. Promoting it properly and stuff like that. And That's what's and, holding me And back. a lot of artists, like drop some gems for my listeners, because a lot of artists are coming up and really don't understand the importance of like the marketing... Mm -hmm. The importance of promotion and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like, share that experience and drop <clears throat> some gems for my listeners. So, I think what's very, very important. Is, I think artistry is is amazing. Mm -hmm. I think the the way that artistry has gone from the pandemic until now, because a lot of people have been dropping amazing music from then until now, right? Mm -hmm. I think that being an artist and dropping music is fabulous. Like, you can you could have the best music in the world, but if you're not promoting it properly, no one's gonna know about it. Yeah, honestly, and I think. The main thing about it is that you have to be social media friendly. Yeah. Your Instagram, your yeah. Facebook, your TikTok, your all that stuff has to mm -hmm. match up. With, you know, I'm yeah. I'm still in the process of like learning TikTok. I'm getting a little older now. Me too. So TikTok is like not a hundred percent for me, but I'm you know I'm still I'm still learning it. I'm still grasping it. But I think your social media presence is a, a huge thing. I also mm -hmm. think like hit the ground running as well. Like, that's something yeah. that, like, I'm going to focus on as well once I put this project out is hitting the ground running. Like, I'm actually going to go to events again. Good. So that's a big thing that a lot of people don't know about me. I'm, Good. I don't want to say I'm an introvert, but I don't like nobody. <laughs> and I don't that's like, nice. I don't really like going to events like that. I don't really like talking to people like that. But I've learned that that is something that I have to come out of. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be hitting events. I'm gonna be going gonna to be events. Kissing babies. I'm and... gonna no literally shaking hands and kissing babies. I think that's a good idea. That's that's a that's a major thing as well. Because like, you never know. Like you'd be surprised who you see like just on a humble somewhere and then it's like, oh snap, that's Say Park. Like, mm -hmm. oh, let me talk to him and let me see what's going on and you know what I mean? Like put your stuff face like out there. When you put out a project, put your face out there. So like yeah. everybody knows that you're out there. Yeah. Talk about it as much as you can. I mean, of course, like you want your friends sharing it, you want everybody sharing it, but you gotta share it first. Right. Definitely. You gotta, you gotta be the one that's annoying first. Right, that's and a fact. And I feel that's like, I feel like once people see how annoying you are, they're gonna be annoying with you. Yeah, because I'm gonna annoy you. When you pull this out. No, because I really enjoy your music. It's Thank very you smooth so much. and just, you know. So we are gonna get into a quick little blast from the past from Say Park. Yes. Crazy sexy cool. Yeah. Crazy sexy cool. You know I'm, I'm fucking with you all the time. You know? Fire record. Love this record. Love so it. wait, before we get into it, like, tell us a little bit about it. Like, how did it come about? So, Crazy Sexy Cool was produced by Rusty Mack, who produced like a lot of like my stuff before. So it was a record that it was just something stupid and fun to come up with, right? Like, so I was like putting out like all these like songs before that had like a lot of thought process behind it, mm -hmm. and everybody wasn't gravitating towards the way I wanted them to. Yeah. And so I was like, you know, fuck it. So I went in the studio, and he had this beat. And I just create, you know, the melody came in my head. I went recorded it. The song honestly is not even talking really talking about anything. I just went and recorded it. I was alright, put it out. Everybody was fucking with it. Yeah. And then once once I started performing it, and then we did the video for it. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this song is is a gem. Nice. So what? How? What? Do you have like a genre you would just classify your style of music, or would you say like you're just very versatile or whatever? Would, would you class it as like <laughs> R and B? Would you class it as like I, alternative R and B? Would you classify it, like how would you look at it? 
I personally, that is a good question, Kay. I personally don't have the answer for you. And the reason why I say that is because I ask people all the time, like, do y'all consider me like a typical R&B artist? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay, well, I also don't consider myself an alternative R&B artist because I don't think my music really falls in that genre. Mm -hmm. If I had to give you something, I would say like urban pop. Okay, listen. For the white girls. One time for the white girls. <laughs> This that Jordy, this that Skyler, this that just kind of Well, one time for the one time for the one time. One time for the one time, and we are gonna get into crazy and sexy. Like we gonna get into crazy, sexy, cool blast for the past of Say Park, Bronx Beats and Bar, Say Park. So Timber uh, K, I Access Radio will be back after this video. Peace. <laughs> Gotta give me one second. I got my other half. Cause we are we got a packed show tonight. Not a packed show. <laughs> Not a packed show. Congrats. Congratulations Thank on that, you. honestly. That's lit. Thank you. Thank you. Lit. I'm just like, you know, I'm just trying to be a pillar of my community, you know. <laughs> no, seriously, You're like doing it, you though. know, like You're doing it. and growing up, like my parents gave back the way that they gave back. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I want to do that in return as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, artistry is my thing. And just seeing, you know, music is, it saved a lot of our lives. So if we can have these platforms to where we can help project that on other people, you know, to other people and yeah. stuff, you know, we're definitely going to do that, you know. And this is what Bronx Beats and Bars is about. And, you know, 
networking and getting to know each other and having the people out there get to know you guys so that y'all know, you know what I'm saying? You know mm. that I know, that we know. That they know. That they know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Red Cubs. Fucking stupid. <laughs> shout out to, shout shout out out to, to the Red Cubs. <laughs> shout out to the Red Cubs. Shout out to my in-house bartender, lady on the rock. She's not here this week, but she definitely made sure that, you know, the drinks was flowing. I heard and you drunk. First of all, let me tell you something. <laughs> we had a time. Nah, her job was a little strong. Nah, we was all right. Like, it was a great show. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, we, it was just flowing. Everything was just flowing. It was so many vibes. Like, That's you good. know what I'm saying? And I love that. And I just love, like, the fact that, you know, we could just, just vibe out right now. We here today. You know, yeah. that was then. This is now, boo. So I was talking to Say, 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 Say. <laughs> and I was telling him, like, yo, in his videos, one thing about Say, Say gonna give you a dancer. Yeah. Say gonna give you choreo. We like, we like dancing over here. Say gonna give you choreo. <laughs> Even in my live performances, we like dancing. Yeah. That's but that's good though, because a lot of people just get on the mic and just be like, Yeah. One, two, one, two. <laughs> and it's like, no, you gotta give me something. If I pay $25, 30 dollars to see you perform, I wanna see something. But also too I want the Mercedes experience. <laughs> but, <laughs> not the Mercedes experience. But also too, artists that just give you that, that just be that's their experience. And sometimes, yeah. sometimes artists can give it to you without a whole production, honestly. But it's very, to me, like, mm -hmm. I've seen a couple of people yeah, that yeah. can do that. Yeah. But not everybody can pull that That's off. That's true. That's true, too. Me, I'm going to try it one day. One day, I'm going to just sit with a guitar and I'm going to just, like, I'm going to just rap, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I fire. might give y'all a performance of a lifetime. Oh. I might be giving y'all, y'all, oh, I might give you a trapped in a closet. Scene like here we are, and that's fire, and yeah, we appreciate is. that because that's Virgo energy, that big Virgo, because that's Virgo season shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the single that you have out now, yes, which is called Nana. It's called Nana. So let's let's talk about it. Who's the feature? And I, I got a couple of people on there. Yeah, <laughs> got a couple of my hitters on there. All right, so it's featuring both of my brothers, Coney Brooks and Teddy Grahams. Albie, um, it's it's a fire like fucking record, like. From the time that from the time that we got the beat and we all three heard it, it was just like, all right, this is gonna be something. This is right. gonna be crazy. So we literally wrote our parts like a day apiece. See, that's good. Like we was done with the record by like a Wednesday. <laughs> like I kid you not, like we were done with the record by like a Wednesday, and we were like, this is gonna be fucking something. Like, we have to put it out. Like it's gonna be something. And I was like, well, mm -hmm. let me put it out. Let me gauge. Let me see. Like if people fuck with it, and people have been fucking with it. Yeah, they good. love it, and I yeah. I appreciate that. I enjoyed it. You know, I think every time like I put out something new, like I'm so scared to put out stuff because I don't know if people are gonna gravitate towards it. I don't know if people are gonna be like, "All right, nigga, sit down." You know. But, but I people... think that you that's what comes with artistry. It's yeah. like you got to take that chance. Like you don't want to keep all of that good stuff to yourself. You got to let the world hear it. So. And that's one of those records. The world it, had to hear it. Is it gonna be on the the EP? It's on the album. Yeah. You got a title name for that? For the album. I... Oh, you I have tell one. Me that? You I have wait? one for you, but I'm not. I'm not going to say it on on air. But I'll tell you. Ah, right, you gonna whisper it in my ear? He gonna be like, "K." The title track is, and that's all we gonna get. And you were you were so silly. <laughs> Cause yo, I swear to God, you, you were so silly. One of the smoothest motherfuckers I know. You like are so fucking. Silly. And that's gonna be the name for the album. Yo, imagine. <laughs> 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 look, look, and you can hear it in your voice. <laughs> That's so melodic. That's that's gonna be the name of the album. And that's gonna be somebody child day, cause you're gonna have people making babies and shit. <laughs> I like that though. I appreciate that people say that, that they, you know, can get off to my music. I like that. So okay. I like that. That's All right, true, because that's what it's about. That's but what funny. is so what is your your album gonna be based on? Like what are like some of the songs, like what is the premise of it and stuff? It's I mean, the songs are kind of, I don't want to say like they're all over the place, but mm -hmm. they, they all talk about different things. You know, okay. Sex, you know, being one thing to see yourself, you know, mm -hmm. growing up, depression, yeah. things like that. It's, it's a mixture of everything, but I think people are going to fuck with it. They're going to love it. Yeah. yeah. And the, I mean, the opening, the opening song is going to take you there, so... I think like that's so important. Like <laughs> opening songs, people have been doing their big one with their openers. Like yeah, they like, at first, like that intro track is like boom. It's like it sets the tone, and it's like ooh, mm -hmm. I can't wait to hear the rest. You know, I'm listening to that. I have a whole listening party in here for that. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> I would love to have a listening party. Actually, you should. I should. Right? You should have a couple of them. I should. I'm gonna host it in a Taco Bell or something like that. Don't do that, <laughs> especially the Taco Bell where we at. 
You know that Taco Bell. And they serve drinks in there too? Shit. They do with a whole Cantina. fucking Cantina. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Because the way they be putting that, what's that blue drink? That Baja Blast? Yeah. And they use Don Julio. They do. Child, they, they do not. fucked up in there. <laughs> I'm telling you. In the back popping ass. No, literally. A, chalupa, a chalupa. Literally. Oh, God. And they're walking home from there. <laughs> you make me sick, y'all. <laughs> I swear <laughs> for God. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, do you want to do a tour? Do you want to like do the whole big shebang? Oh, my God. Like? I think if, if God willing, I guess, of course. I would, I would fucking love to do that. I would love to go on a fucking tour, a multi-city tour. Like I would love to do all of that. But it's just... It's in it's in due time. Yeah. I don't want to rush anything because there is no need for me to do that anymore. I think one of the reasons why I really wanted you on the show mm-hmm. also is because like so many artists come with this expectation of a deadline. I mean, yeah, you gotta have certain yeah, deadlines if you're under certain, you know, of course. contracts and things like yeah. that, but it's like it's okay to take your time. It is. It's okay to not rush a creative process. It's mm-hmm. okay to say, you know what, scratch that. I want to do something different. Mm-hmm. And I really wanted you here because it's like, yo, I, every time I see you, when you coming out with the app, what's yeah. up? What's going on? What's going on? And you be like, hey, like, that's the chill first the fuck conversation. Out. It really <laughs> That'd be is. The not, first even conversa- hello. not even a hey. Not even Where's the album? Because <laughs> as a as a fan, it's just like I want to know, like, yeah. what's up? But then also, I you got to also that. take into consideration a person's creative project, process. And yeah. I, I, I really want my listeners to understand that, yo, it's, excuse me, it's okay to take your time. Mm-hmm. It's okay to just say, you know what, I'm not going to do it this year. Mm-hmm. It's okay to get into your creative bag and say, you know what, I'm not ready yet. But when you get, when you ready... Mm-hmm. You got to put your foot on their necks and you got to go full throttle. Like, you got to really go hard. Because if you're going to put it out, you got to put it out. And it's also the sense of, like, life be life in. Yeah. You know, I, I, now, you know, as an adult and stuff, like, I can firmly say that I went through a really bad depression um, during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And even coming out of the pandemic, I was, like, really mentally fucked up. You know, like, again, life was life and I was, right. you know, I was losing friends. Um, yeah. My uncle died of COVID. Um, you know, fame died. He and I were really close. It was a, it was a lot. So I I didn't up. realize that I, w- I was depressed until it was kind of almost too late. So that's another reason, too, why I take my time with everything. Because I kind of felt as though what would... During the pandemic, because everything was closed down, I thought to myself, well, what is my purpose now? Because I can't put out anything. I can't, I can't perform. I can't, you know, that's, that was my big thing. Performing is like a huge thing for me. So I'm like, I can't perform. I can't do anything. What am I supposed to do? And I didn't know what my purpose was. Yeah. So now that I can say I'm mentally okay, Mm -hmm. um, I'm taking my time with everything. I'm not rushing anything. I'm not forcing anything anymore. Yeah. Look, you got the baby. You drink it too. <laughs> like you want to have a car. But no, seriously, like I just want people to understand that yo, it's okay, like to to just take your time. It's okay to just mm-hmm. just let it flow. Mm-hmm. So right now, we are gonna get into Nana. Yeah. Cause that's my jigger jam. We love Nana. We love Nana. Do we you do. love Nana? I love Nana. I love Nana. We love Nana. Nana is good. Nana's great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> season <laughs> oh shit we will be back to Timber K Bronx Beats and Bars Say Park I Access Radio and here we are with na 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 <laughs>
I'm getting nasty. You taste it, wavy. Cake like a bakery. I saw all of your curves in HD. A switch from my Xbox. Shorty should've never tried play me. Mr. Waist Trainer, I'll be all up in your gut. My melanated queen, Sunday chocolate deluxe. Body of finger painting, I ain't worried about the brush. The way that your hips swinging is a must. I, I just wanna touch. Yeah, I got a crush. I'm feeling like a 50 cent soda trying bust. Looking like I'm feeding for your body out of lust. Baby, I'm a squirrel and it's your world, girl. I need a nut. Now, ow, we could go crazy now. Look, <laughs> we could go crazy now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Sage Park's latest Nana featuring Tony Teddy, Brooks Teddy and Grams Teddy Grimm. They are, first of all, those are my guys. They got it. They are so fire. Like, I love them. So, um, so yeah. as we, um, you know, get to this. This first hour, get through this first. Don't look at me like you ain't know what the fuck was going on in here. <laughs> you got your live popping. Shout out to Say Park Live. <laughs> Shout out to everybody on Say Park Live. Al. So stupid. I mean, you know, that's what they say, but they can't prove it. So, <laughs> yeah. But um, so what else? Are, what else are you working on aside from your EP? Do you have I mean, your album? Do you have like you know any other projects? You working with any other people? Are you? Just focused on this? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, I I got a couple of things out right now. So another one of my good friends, Dips, she came back to music. Yeah, because she just had a song recently, too. We, we had two yeah. records yeah. come out. Yeah, uh-huh. Two records come out. So Dips has two records out now. Um, one's called Outside with me and Teddy, and the other one is called um, Quickie with me. Yeah, so we, I heard that one. I like that one. We working, that on, we working on visuals for those, okay. actually, um, outside of my project. Um, I mean, I'm writing for different people. You know, stuff like that, too. So when are you giving us a visual for Nana? Don't play with me, because I want to see that. We could get crazy now. You want to be in it? And do what? <laughs> Have people sign non-disclosures? Because I assume <laughs> Nana. Nah, it's coming. We're working on that. We are working on that um, pretty soon. So hopefully before the end of the month, we'll have. Don't shot do me like that because I'll be right there at your door like we could get crazy now. <laughs> hopefully before yeah, hopefully before the end of the, the month we'll have the record we'll have that video shot and out for you guys. So Yay. Yeah, because Nana technically is the first single from my project. So. Oh, yeah. Come on now. <laughs> do we have a, like a date or we still working on that date or for the project? Yeah, you said it's almost done ninety six percent, but do you want to wait till like through fourth quarter, first quarter? Mm, second quarter. Second listen. Yeah. Might do what be. you got to do. Yeah. Listen, yo, shout out to Les. <laughs> yo, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you kindly, ma'am. Look, she on the, she on the bill. Look, anybody know Lady on the Rocks? When she came here last time, look, we done had three different name changes with her. Like, nah. she just had. <laughs> this was the bartender? Mm-hmm. And she had, like, I don't even know. One was, like, I think it had, like, Red Berry Ciroc. And the other one was, like, uh. Some sort of tequila. She had like the, the she syrups making. and all that. She was, yeah, it was definitely given. Y'all was lit, yeah. We was. Mm. Definitely given cruise ship realness. Like, <laughs> yo, we was given <laughs> unlimited bar realness. She definitely had us in here. Like, okay. I was in here, like, listen, shut I'm up. looking at the cup and I was like, damn, what is, okay, let me put up. this down. No, so for real. Up. Listen, I love my team. I love the support. <laughs> yes, look, most welcome. Can't wait to see you on the 16th. Yeah. Oh, that's when she can be back? I hope so. That's the birthday episode. Mm. Mm mm mm. Oh, I'm trying shit. to get some Luke dances in here. Oh, shit. Take them back to Freak Nick. I'm so mad. You should have had me on that. Episode. I mean, no, it's, it's the girls. You could come, like, I'm but you know, we're going we gonna to turn up. Ooh, that sounds I'm going like to get fun. some little midgets popping ass on the table. I'm going to tell you, what's that? Number one, Sony X5. Now that you having midgets. I love midgets. <laughs> 
Sorry, little people. No, I'm little people, my fault. Oh, yeah. See, look. Oh, I'm there. No question. I love her because that's what we do. What's that number one zodiac sign? Virgo. <laughs> they going to be so mad at me. Because it's going to be one, two, or the funky talk, word right but, across the table. But talk your shit. It's your birthday month. Yeah, it's definitely my talk birthday month. So as as we um, conclude this first half of Bronze Beats and Bars, mm-hmm. um, the podcast ever, I told Say, I want to hear something live. So I don't know what he's going to come up with, but we going to sing it together? We gonna, what we going to sing? What you want to sing? I'm going to follow your lead. <laughs> shit. You want to see my new record with me? Sing the record. I just want to make him go crazy. Yeah. Deep up in him, you can be my baby. Yeah. All up on your body, you off that narcotic. Hey. Yeah, you got me solid. Hey. Talking about demon time. Woo. Just want to make you mine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If I say you the one, will you believe me? I know I be teasing. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's what you get, Kay. Ooh, yeah. Shout out to Wiz. What's up, Wiz? We get a ooh, yeah. <laughs> 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 say oh say, oh yeah. <laughs> you love that. I do. You love that. I love you. I'm gonna record yeah. a voice note for you and send it to you. Don't put do that, that as my. Put that as we my. We put uh, that as a ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you get off my nerves. So as we proceed, look, look. I sound like Diddy now. We gonna get into the second half. We have two special guests coming in. We have the pretty hustler. We have Exile coming in, and uh, yeah. As uh, we proceed with what you need, yeah, we got a pass out today. You know, we got guests on guests on guests. Everybody coming in, you know, it's, it's love. And everybody was on time. Shout out to being on time. I love the professionalism. Being on time is black excellence. Do you being on time is like an, an, an Olympic feat for black people. <laughs> Don't do us it like is, that. It is black excellence when you were on time. I love that too. I love it. Yeah. She was like, I'm here. I'm like, oh shit, mm-hmm. we recording, but mm-hmm. give me a second. Mm-hmm. Like, I love it. So. We will be back. Bronx Beats and Bars in the building. I don't know what we should play. Let's play something from my uh, first episode, Al. Let's, let's, I want to get into the um, the eight again. Let's do, yeah, writings on the wall. That's my team. That's I mess, Yeah, I like them. They, they're really dope. That's a talented group. All right, y'all, we'll be back with the Pretty Hustler Exile. Say, Park, thank you so much for being a special thank guest. You, you, gonna, you gonna stick around? I'm gonna stay for a little bit. You gonna stay for a little bit? Mm. Oh. You're gonna stay for a little bit longer. <laughs> it's giving Sheila E. It's Not giving, Sheila. I love Sheila. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna put you on the album. Don't do me that. Oh, if you put me on the album. On the album. I wanna be on the album. I wanna be on the album. <laughs> I'll be on the interlude or you gonna yeah, have me. Literally on the interlude. Oh my god. Nah, I'm gonna have you end the album actually. Don't do me like that. I want that in right end. Mm. Yeah, I heard it first. Bronze Beats and Bars. <laughs> Look, oh Jameen. Okay, so you know Jameen? <laughs> I don't. But thank you. Oh, no. Nope, I don't. I don't. But Jameen thank is you. the plug. Thank Shout you out so to much. Jameen. Jameen, thank you so much. Yes, Mean is the plug. We're going to talk about Mean is the plug. Like, big body bins. Like, I love her. Like, all right, y'all. We'll be back. Bronx Beats and Bars in the building. We're going to get into this video. Close us out for the first half. The writing's on the wall. Shout out to the eight once again. And we are in three, two, one. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I know this shit gonna sound fire. Uh. Daddy told me start it. Told them I'm just getting started. Told them I'm just getting started. Daddy told me start it. Told them I'm just getting started. For my close ones, you know I'ma go to Barbies. Counting all these blue streaks, feeling like I'm Martin. My shooter itching back, I can tell when he on Thomas. And I know you gon' go Same way in the hood Same way when I'm on the road Standing ten toes To my goal Every day I get closer We the ones having all the motion On that bullshit No DeRozan Gotta keep focus Know them niggas want me to slip Scream fuck em while I'm dumping the clip Head high like a nosebleed Only my brothers, that's the home team Coke raw, sit them in the nosebleed Supply by the truckload Give me head fast and she fuck slow Fiends getting high like nuts, so 
Damn, where the love go? Niggas try and take me out. Life like a movie, try and find a way to make it out. Me, I chose the paper route. Money on your head, they gon' take you out. If I drop an Addy, they gon' play the house. Gotta make it count, like a game winner. Bring the torch, yeah, I came to flame niggas. Different cloth, we are not the same niggas. Linen, and I got it by a landslide. No, I let the grim fly. Savage, since the day I see my man die. Now me started, Told them I'm just getting started. For my close ones, you know I'ma go to Barbies. Counting all these blue streaks, feeling like I'm Martin. My shooter itching bad, I can tell when he on Thomas. And I know he gon' go. Same way in the hood, same way when I'm on the road. Standing ten toes. To my goal, every day I get close. Uh, closer to my dream, but I ain't sleeping good. Figuring some ways to get up out the hood, stuck in my ways. Like quicksand and personalities mixed. If I can't ask you for no favors, then don't ask me for shit. Sometimes I leave and hit the road, throw my bag in a whip. I keep on having nightmares that I get packed by a clip. If I'm on a block, I hit the crib, then I change clothes. I learned the game from them rosters and pesos. We get drunk, drink more wet by the case load. Somebody telling lies, I just pray that the case fold. You can't be a yes man, learn to say no. Mindset like I'm Beckham, I want straight goals. Me and Dell want the millies. Bimo want the same thing, I know that he feel me. I ain't never faking, this is Hill, it's the real me. Count blue streaks, I'm giving y'all new heat. I'm getting started. Told them I'm just getting started. For my close ones, you know I'ma go to Barbies. Counting all these blue streaks, feeling like I'm Martin. My shooter itching bad, I can tell when he on timing. And I know he won't go. Same way in the hood, same way when I'm on the road. Standing ten toes. To my goal, every day I get close. Back, we got a full house. We got a full house. September K, Bronze Beats and Bars in the building. We got Say Park in the building. And to my left, we have our second half guest. We have the Pretty Hustler. We have Exile. Spiller Entertainment Frontline Records is in the building. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, you know, I'm, burr, burr, burr. listen, I ain't got, you know, I'm, 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 this is my second episode. We gonna have shit together when we all have right. shit together. It's all right. I got, I got it. Burr, 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 burr. That's what I'm talking about. Each one, teach one. This is what I'm talking about. Thank you guys for so much for pulling up on me. Like, Thank I you love for it. Having us. Right, right. This is so, yeah, we gonna get into, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for those of y'all who don't know, Y'all been living under a rock. It's a pretty hustler here. Kanika Shanae. I, I feel so Hollywood. I don't see oh my gosh. Like, I no, I'm, I'm keeping mine on. I'm, the, the lights is just like, whoa. The, I'm not going to lie. Today is looking pretty bright. <laughs> I was just here. Girl, the blue <laughs> blockers, like, uh, these help, like, so much when you're doing different shows. I went on uh, Amazon and was like, yeah, I need something for eye sensitivity. I, I have a migraine if I don't do it, so... I want to give y'all my all. I want to give y'all the best version of me today. <laughs> Everybody came on time. This is a beautiful thing. Shout out Period. to C Shout out to us going against CP time right That's now. Because, you know, we, we got a job to do. You know, and they all the way from BK and all that, you know. And it's well, a mission coming over here. We're coming from Queens. Queens on the I was born and yeah. raised in, in Brooklyn, but we was coming from Queens. Ooh, look. <laughs> yeah, you just you just moved into your new space. I yeah. saw that on congratulations. <laughs> Y'all all in your business now. Bronx I'm Pizza Bars. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm starting the business. We're going to start. This is what we're here for. I you know? love it. But yeah, we got the pretty health of exile in the building. And um, yeah, it's a lot going on. Y'all y'all doing y'all big one. <laughs> so let's before we get into anything, spill it entertainment, media mogul in the making, CEO, CEO of Frontline Records. Yes. That's what we'll talk about. Exactly. CEOs, look, I need they autographs no, and I need a that. check. Don't do that. Don't you know, do I'm that. surrounded, I'm surrounded by all this greatness, oh. you know? I, I love it. But I love that. With Spiller Entertainment, you've been doing so much, like, so many different events, giving back to the hip-hop community, giving back to different genres of music communities and everything, and it's, it's a dope, dope platform that you have going on. Like, I've been to your Bay Brunch. I've been to your 420. That was an event. That was a time. Oh, you came to the um, Remember, House yeah, of Dank? House of Dank last yeah. year? Was it that year? It was last year. Last. No, it was last year. No, it was last year in Long Island City. Year. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, House of Dank was lit. She was had year. shout out to LaShawn Freeman. Yo, who she was had oh House of Dank. dope, dope, dope. Shout out to the home team because you it was so organized. 
everybody. Shout out to Bella Cakes. That's my girl. Shout out to Bella. Like, she had, like, um, Lulu was there. She had her food popping. Like, everybody yeah. was in the building, like, giving, oh, 420 realness. It was love. But you also did the Bay Brunch. You had my daughter there as a vendor, which I greatly appreciate. She's so dope. Thank She's such you. A sweetheart. Thank you. <laughs> and it was just like, it was so much love, so much networking and whatnot. But for those of y'all who don't know, Tell us, for those of y'all who don't know about Spiller Entertainment and Frontline Records, please give them a rundown of both. I love that. Um, (laughs) So Spiller Entertainment was founded 2017, um, multimedia, and started to grow into multimedia and promotions. We do artist development. Um, Me, myself, I'm an event curator, aspiring publicist, writer, media personality, you know, the shebang bang. Um, yeah, and it's going on its sixth year, September 7th. So, look, she started it in Virgo season. That's dope. That's you know, because you know, okay, big Virgo <laughs> energy. Yeah, we pumping Virgo. Oh, I don't know what happened that year, but I was definitely feeling super ambitious and I just went for it. Oh, yeah, that was the year I think I made my um uh, vision board. But see, that's yeah. good, you yeah. know what I mean? Because you started in 2017 and here it is six years later, and you have so much going on events. Brunches, boo thing errors, you know what I'm saying? Writing, <laughs> concerts, oh, photography. Like, I all. see you. Nah, she got a lot going on. You got to give it to where it's due. I'm not even mad. And touring. I don't want to she does events. Boop, boop. Like, yeah, I mean, touring, all of that. So, like, how. Like, how hard is it to get all of that? Or how easy is it? Like, how do you get everything together? Like, because that's a lot of work. And so then you don't just do stuff like one event per year, you do things like every season multiple things so i take one day and then i just break down and no, I'm nah, shit, listen. No, real, i do but no but listen i really just it's just consistency for me mm-hmm. like and when i'm super passionate about something or someone period like i'm always in i'm in it to win it and i'll i'll be there every day yeah. i show up i have to show i'm the ceo i have to show up every yeah. day if somebody doesn't show up like i have, you have to, to be, be there. there yeah you know you definitely have so to that there. part of it is just really what makes me continue to um want to show up for my brand want to show up for myself like having something that i'm super proud of and something that's my own it, like when it comes to my family and my upbringing it's always been about ownership yeah so for me, it's like me having that and being an owner is is super important. Yeah. Um, how I do it, I really don't know. Other than that, like I really don't know. Yeah. I wake up and I'm just like, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Right. I write a list. I have an accountability list where the things that I um, need to do and the things that I want to do. <laughs> right. Go second. But that's important. But other than that, and even that sometimes. Is it lacks best because I'm so focused on the things that I need to do. But you have a structure. Yeah. And 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 when you have like a structure or some sort of like pre production, then that helps get you know, it spins off everything else. So that's a good thing. You know what I mean? So you guys have an event coming up, but before we get into that event. Let's talk about some of the uh, events that you did in the past so that people know, like, bong, 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 give them that. Bong, bong, bong. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I had, um, Bay Brunch was actually, like, my first run of events. That's, like, my baby. Um, it really started off as supposed to be, like, a couple's con- um, conversational brunch. Oh, nice. And then we realized that a lot of music artists, they go through relationships. They go through life, too. Um, it is a great platform to have, like, single releases, people to release their music right. in a different market. Right. Other than just showcases. Like, mm-hmm. you get to see a different vibe. Um Bay Brunch, and then I did a couple of open mics that were super successful. Um, I had an all-ladies glow tournament or glow event. Dr. Vieira is one of them. Nice. That was performing there. Um, Monty the Mogul performed at that. Lulu. Um, Shea Carter is one of them. You know, Cream Couture was there. Nice, um, nice. It was a dope event. I had the Sweet 16. Uh, the Sweet 16 started off as a virtual event. Mm-hmm. And then it just, it really blew up. I met so many people that didn't necessarily know Spill It the way you knew them, Mm -hmm. the way you knew me Mm -hmm. before. Right. Um, And then I did a live Sweet 16 with H2O Music. That was super successful. Yeah. Yeah, you did that, what, this year, right? 
No, last that year. Was, no, that was actually 2020. So, but you did one this year. It's 2021. 2021 was the one that I did with H2O. And right, but the, you did one this year too. The Sweet 16. No, or last year. Last year, okay. yes, I did. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes. I'm like, wait, I know you did one, yeah. I think, okay, see, yes. look, she got so many events going on, I, I can't keep track. Yeah, and then I did um, House of Dink. The first installment of House of Dink was straight out of the pandemic, <laughs> and we didn't even realize the response that was going to that we were going to get, but it was a packed house. Mm -hmm. Um, That was pretty dope. And I did that with LaShawn Freeman and it's becoming normal, which is his brand. Um, What else? Oh my God. Then I started doing a lot of single releases for artists. Like Mm -hmm. people would ask me, Earn De Niro being one of them. Shout out to Earn. 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 That was a super successful event. Um, I did a lot of hosting. Yeah, I was there for that. Yeah. Yeah. That was dope. That was was in Zone 6. Yes. In Zone 6. Um, did a lot of hosting for myself, like me, my personal brand. Um, Do writing and, then, and stuff, so that's dope. And writing, and then Back to the Block came about. This is the third year. Yeah, shout out to, yeah, this is the event that's happening September 9th next week. Tickets are still on sale. Back to the Block. It's in BK. Should have been in the Bronx, but you know, that's just because I'm being... <laughs> I'm being biased, but nah, she, don't do me. Don't go. do me like that. I'm not going to listen. No, nah, but you got some, you got a lineup. Like, you know, and this is where I like the fact that some of these artists are on frontline records, correct? No. No, none. No. None actually. of them? I no. thought that no. site, okay. No. No. Uh, oh, well. site bookie? I thought that, yeah. No, no. actually. No. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> Look, I stand correct. This is what I get. But so we get into Frontline Records. So you put uh, this together with the artistry as well. Well, to answer your first question, Frontline Records started in <laughs> um, 2016, 2015 okay. I started it. Um, it was me um, It was me wanting to give back. Right. Like I, I feel like a responsibility as an artist is to give an opportunity to people who didn't have the same opportunity, like everything that I had to work for. Mm. So I felt like I, I didn't want that I like if I felt you were talented enough, I didn't want you to have to go through the same BS that I had to go through. So wow, anything that so I selfless. accumulated or any type of uh any type of ground that I gained, any type of connects, context or whatever that I accumulated, it's yours. Just show up to work. That's the, all I ask. Just do what you say you're gonna do. That's love. Show up to work. That's um, love. So fast forward now, um frontline records, I got three artists, Dutch Alcott, who's from the Bronx. <laughs> since we talking the Bronx, what you not gonna do is talk that talk in that tone. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. From the Bronx, who is schizos from Brooklyn? True Luxury, um, female group from Brooklyn. They all got singles out right now. New Yiddy is out now. Heat is out now with the video. Big Walk is out now, also with the video. Um, I'm proud of all of them. They're doing their thing. And um, when it comes to back to the block, me and um, me and Pretty Hustle, we've collaborated 2021 okay when she had the idea to want to do it i nice. said yeah no nah, I, I can i can get with this because i i've it's not that i haven't thrown shows before but she has a method a way of doing it which makes it seem low, so seamless right so i'm like i can get with this because i can't it's already structured it's already structured in a certain way and i'm yeah. like okay i can get with this right you know a lot of people come in with an idea but not a plan mm. and that's that's the thing um, she came with an idea and a plan. Okay. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. as long an as you got that, and a, a yeah, you're coming with an idea and a plan, and I know that I can add to that and support however I can, and um, that's where we work. So it's like the business side of things, she knows how to, you know, get the get the people, get the this, that, and the third in the building as far as getting sponsors and getting this and getting right. that. And things are important. Me, on the other hand, I know how to pick the artists. Gotcha. Because I know what would, who, I know... Who looks good on stage? Mm. Because outside of, like, I can step outside of exile for a second and be a fan and be like, yeah, gotcha. this is going to be dope. And that's important. And that's important. I Like, it, selfish person, like, it's, it's my event. I'm performing all night. <laughs> Give it up for DJ Itchy Scratch. Right. <laughs> I'm performing all night. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's not the case when it comes to this. Again, this is me part of, of, of me wanting to do my part as an artist. And, and show love to right. people who necessarily don't get that. So when it comes to the artist lineup, we hand pick. We don't just. There's so many shows out there that just be like, "How much money you got?" Right. All right, cool. You on the bill. So mm. don't be mad at us when we tell you. Uh, All right, you on the bill. <laughs> there's so many. There's so many that do that, and then you so get a card. You get right, a card that's, that's like. You get a card that's like 
50 people on the bill. Mm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so we strive on being and pride ourselves on being different. So don't take it personal. Right. Just in order to touch the stage that we provide, you have to have been working the entire year. You got to have material out. You got to have a show presence. You got to know what the hell an EPK is. You got to know what a show... To, you got to know these things mm -hmm. in order for that to happen. The, right. The, this is... We do this is we do festival vibes. We don't do showcase vibes. So what's the difference as far as like picking like the difference to you guys on the CEO standpoint and just like as business standpoint between a mm -hmm. showcase and a festival? Because some might think that that's one and the same. It's not showcase showcase wise. Like again, like I said, they they'll ask you, all right, how much money you got? It doesn't matter. You could have put out a song this year mm -hmm. with no type of stage show with no type of nothing. Mm -hmm. And then you, the consumer who happened to buy a ticket, you come to this show and you're wondering who is this on stage and why are they there? Because gotcha. I ain't see them moving. Because I don't know who they are. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. I don't, they don't look like they have it together. Right. And that's the difference between festival and showcase. When we talk festival, we have our vendors. Mm -hmm. We, the, the idea from Back to the Block, which is also her idea, was the fact to show, to circulate the black dollar. Everybody in the community has got to make money. Everybody else sticks together as far as making money. Mm -hmm. Why can't we do the same? Ooh, Keyword, okay. circulate. Because a That's lot of people right. will come onto this platform and then be like, oh, well, why isn't it for free? Well, because how am I? I want you to make money. Right. But how am I going to? <laughs> how am right. I, how right. Am, and it's not even to be selfish in that in that standpoint. But my grandmother is the sole re Going back to what he said about how I... Um, I kind of created the the platform, the Black Cell Block platform. Um, my grandmother, who passed away during COVID, um, she always had block parties in Brooklyn, like mm -hmm. on the block. She also owned her own back. event space, giving back, taking care of the kids. Um, I haven't tapped into the youth uh, side of things yet, but just giving back to the community and showing your support. Like, listen, I see you. You look like you're trying to do something. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a platform that is you know, big enough for you to showcase your brand. Right. Um, and she was, she loved music. She loved to dance. She just loved the community, mm -hmm. period. So I just thought to put my own spin on things and incorporate the indie scene because that's the community that I love. Right. You know what I mean? I love going to concerts with people that I've never met before. They're not on the mainstream radio. Right. But they're fire. Yeah. And they don't have the platform. platform. That's why so I do Bronx like, Beats and Bars. Yeah, yeah definitely. Let, give you this platform mm -hmm. and you do what you make of it what you're supposed to make of it right. you know what i mean you right. actually excel use the resources that we give you mm -hmm. originally before it was like a two part um event the first part was a media day where we would have a panel a different panels the first panel was i think producers and songwriters which... i think it was the second panel this... i think the first panel no Yes, it was producers. All right. First panel was producers and songwriters. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Producers and songwriters mm -hmm. and featuring him and... Um, Leash the Beast. Leash the Beast was there. Yeah, shout out Leash. Yeah, um, she's fine. Yeah. And then also give them an opportunity to get interviews done, get mm -hmm. actual professional photos because... A lot of artists don't have photos. A lot of artists don't know what that is. And then when we say, give us a photo for your flyer and you got a photo uh, of you at a party... <laughs> or you got a photo with a, bottle too. with a bottle, or you got a photo of you standing in front of a car outside. Like, One person like, had show me a picture. Like that's that's what it is. You you wouldn't <laughs> believe. You wouldn't believe. Like we say, send Yo. a picture for your flyer. And y'all hand this from a CEO. We say send a picture take, for take your those. flyer. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, I'm grateful to say that sometimes most of, majority of the time the pictures that we get because are, we're, are good because yeah, we yeah. have faith in the artist that we picked for sure. But there are other times where we get pictures and we're just like, why? For what? So do y'all have like showcases of or like seminars to help artists? Well, that's what that the, uh, was the day what one for. Day one was for. I didn't do day one this time because I felt like it would it needed to be so spectacular this time that I didn't have the the preparation to do it. Like right. Day one is literally, Dear Artist is literally my baby. I did Dear Artist during yeah. Day Summit, mm -hmm. and I did it on virtually, and mm -hmm. it was a complete success. People actually tuned in. I had some pretty big names pop out 
to talk to the indie scene community. Nice. But I do feel like what the issue was with Dear Artists is, unfortunately, during this time, people don't necessarily appreciate the resources that I'm giving. The people that will, will. Right. But the people that don't, It's a don't. nice way of saying it. That's not. Nice. <laughs> the ex said, "Listen, listen, 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 Let's bottom give it to the raw. Let's get it raw. What, bottom line, what it is, because yes, it's it's an event that's so informative, and you're sitting there trying to soak up information and and everything like that. But a lot of it, what it boils down to is that a lot of artists who egos are big enough to admit that that they need they help. They don't need it. They don't want to admit that they need help. Mm-hmm. And that's a that's so that's, unfortunate because it's like, thing. listen, if you got somebody that has the resources to get you from point A to point yeah. B, don't be ashamed of that. Yeah, just it because was, that's Bill. Right? You, you, yeah. you think you're gonna get information if if somebody who, like, if a, just to throw a name out there, if a Jay Z was sitting up there, you you'd go, you'd uh-huh. go to that seminar, you'd go there uh-huh. because you just want to be in the presence of it and see. Well, how did you do this and how did you do that? And yes, he can give you all the knowledge in the world, but when it comes to their artists, you're getting that. Because they're in it right now. And hands on. And hands on. Like they were really willing to. Hands on. Yeah. They wanted to ask you, answer any question that you have and tell you how they got to where they're at. Because those people are on stage are successful in their field. They're doing right. it in their field. And they can tell you. Not everybody's experiences are the same. Touche. So if you're trying to do something, why not come in, sit down, listen, take Take two hours, three hours, however and long it's out the day and learn something. Yeah. No. And it was just disheartening, not to cut you off. No, it, was, okay. it was just disheartening for me because it was like, this is something that I really build and I've seen where it could go. And you see all the comments online and all the conversation about we don't get seen, we don't do this and this, that, and, and the third. And then you have people then, who want to show you this is what you need to do. This is what you yeah. need to do. And, I'm, and not just me, just in case you know you don't take my word for mm-hmm. it. There are people that genuinely want to help you that have been in the field far longer than I, 10 plus years, mm-hmm. and they want to, and they want to see you succeed. They want to build this community up, and you don't take advantage of that opportunity. It's yeah. super disheartening. So I'm yeah. looking at it like, at this point, I know what I want to do with it, and maybe this, maybe giving a free resource like that, because that's all people want. They they talk money, right? Now, if I say I charge this, 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 people get upset. They're like, why are you doing that? Where you're not for the culture. Because <laughs> I'm Whatever that you. Means. Whatever that means. I'm not for the culture. The culture costs. I, like, just, I despise that, that saying it because so it, much, almost, yeah. it almost makes people feel bad for, for expressing their worth. Because I feel like when you're charging somebody to, to do anything, mm-hmm. you're expressing your worth. You're, I'm worth this much. And if you feel like you want to invest in yourself and in me, then you would do it without us having any conversation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I ain't never heard anybody standing on the Jordan line talking about, you're not for the culture. I got to pay $300 for these right. sneakers. And they be paying. I ain't never, hey. I ain't never Resale heard prices and everything. Yes. On not the, waiting for on Jordans. the waiting list. <laughs> I ain't never heard nobody on the Jordan list say, yo, you're not for the culture. Why you ain't giving these sneakers away? I it's never so disheartening because it's like when you're trying to be for the culture in a different aspect, right? Okay, maybe I'm not for the culture with, when it comes to this. But when it comes to me actually giving you the resources, trying to teach you, trying to build you up as an artist or as a creative, I'm definitely for that. Right. You don't want it because, oh, I'm not Hot 97, I'm not Power 105. I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't want to call them. But if we put that logo on that, we put that logo on that flight. They was fire. Right? We put that logo on it. They <laughs> was like, oh, put logo on that flight, <laughs> like, relax. Show up. Yeah. So back to, back to the block. Mm. Who are some of the artists that y'all have? Because, uh. I, I know y'all got Bianca, y'all got Coney. Yeah. Um, we got Far Rock's on King Streets is doing this thing right now. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Shout out to King Streets for sure. Listening to y'all, like seeing everything that y'all have going on, I'm like, wow. Like, yeah, I had to look and see you, and I'm like, he's making a buzz. Like, yeah. yeah. Nah. God, shout That's out to right. King, That's dope. right, Jamal. Um, like you said, uh, Coney Brooks is hitting that stage. Bianca is on that stage. Uh, Mig 718 is on that stage. Uh, he's dope as well. Come out of Staten Island. He's super fire. Yeah, um, he's got sure. his own style, which is dope. Um, my yours truly, I'm on that stage. Okay. I got a few surprises coming out on that stage. I'm not gonna say just yet. Okay. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm working on something. Ow. Um, so, uh-huh. Who else? Who else? If we talking about, uh, we got we got yeah. Sife Boogie on stage. Okay. We got Note on stage. Mm-hmm. Um, Major Way, shout to her. Shout out to Major uh, Way. Tag, as well. Um, Shy Town. Shy Town. 
Uh, um, Tyson, Tyson Finesse. Tyson Finesse. Um, Dom Knox, who he likes to be called by Knox. Knox. Monty B. Uh-huh. Uh, Reno K O Q. Yeah, um, got a whole summer change. And all these, and this, yeah. and that's the reaction that we want. Yeah, all these people can perform. All these people have quality music. Quality music, like wow. when I say quality, yeah. like the I, I had to one of the people, like I was looking like, okay, <laughs> yeah. this is fine. It was so fire. Yeah. Like the music just makes you think, like, oh, I would definitely bump this in the club. Like we, we have to. Not only are we putting on quality artists, and we have to also f- think about like, are we gonna enjoy it? You know what I'm saying? If we were in a club or if we were at a concert, right. would we stay to watch these people? Right. And literally, as far as the headliners are concerned, and a a few of the openers, there are a couple that I've never actually physically seen them perform in person, mm-hmm. but I've definitely heard their music. Gotcha. But as far as headliners are concerned, every single one I've seen perform, and they've all wowed me. Mm. All to I've Shout no to I gotta the indie stay. Scene. Shout you out to the I mean? indie artists. Yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So before we go any further, I want to get into one of the videos by one of my guys that's performing, Coney Brooks. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That is my bro. Nothing but love for the young chap. <laughs> we'll be back. Pretty Hustler Exile, Bronx Beats and Bars, I Access Radio. We'll be back after this, y'all. Peace. Camera action, spin on squares, Michael Jackson. She know my body, that's attraction. Sit back and watch me step on the scene, and I'm putting it work. Getting my bag, I'm just watching me work. Play with the gang, you get put on a shirt, and you can't be the king if you don't put in work. Ain't no love in this game. She don't want you, she chasing the fame. She ain't loyal, she chasing the rain. Let me do my thing, watch me work, 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 watch me work, 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 watch me work, 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 watch me work, work, work. Where I come from, they only respecting the violence yeah. My city show love cause I'm locked in This is trench talk calling dialing Whoa. Homie get lost on that island It's an ISO like mellow shot yeah. Talk hood shit, get a fellow drop yeah. Fist in your mouth like a jello shot yeah. Call yeah. a ops, yeah. spot the tech nine in the passenger of a yellow drop Praise God Cause you can meet the nigga if you whack hard with a couple shots do, do. This is not a threat, I promise, I promise. You could be a plate tectonic Whoa. That boy, there's a whole lot of gang shit yeah. And I don't throw it up, I vomit nah. Energy, energy, energy Bad bitch and she love my celebrity yeah. Can't trust how she move for a tell fall no. So that thick and his love for me dead to me what? I'm in the birth like a gym star yeah. Putting in work, that's my pedigree yeah. Fake love when they see that you've been far In disguise cause it's envy and jealousy Lights, camera, action. Spin on squares, Michael Jackson. She know my body, that's attraction. Sit back and watch me step on the scene, and I'm putting in work. Get in my bag, I just watching me work. Play with the gang, and get put on a shirt, and you can't be the king if you don't put in work. Ain't no love in this game. She don't want you, she chasing the fame. She ain't loyal, she chasing the ring. Let me do my thing. Watch me work, work, work. Watch me work, work, work. Watch me work, work. Watch me work. I hate when a nigga start talking facts. I can tell when it ain't about shit. Nah, chatting on wax like a street nigga. Okay, but he only really did house shit. Yeah, flow cold like he's in a freezer. What? Talking about a pole in ounces. Ha. Be tough for a nigga if you want. What? I'ma kick it with your bro, have a leaking like a fountain. Damn. Bam, get mad if you want to. Okay, or you can get just like me. Fact. Respect when the king starts sniping. Snipe. I do the right thing like Spike Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it, do it. Nike, Nike. I'm just a dog with the spikies. Uh-huh. To me, it's a night on the town. What? Blow a bag and you calling a yeah. wife. Energy, energy, energy. Send me more wet and some Hennessy. Yeah. Hit the strip and I move like a brink truck. Whoa. Put in and work as a ten to three. three. Trying to stop me would not work. Nah. Head tap like I'm aiming for Kennedy. Whoa. First 48 out the window, Whoa. like a case of mistaken identity. Yeah. Lights, camera, action. Nah. Spin on squares, Michael Jackson. Whoa. She know my body, that's attraction. Back. Sit back and back. watch me step work. on the scene and I'm work. putting in work. work. Getting my bag, I just work. watching me work. Play work. with the gang and get put work. on a shirt and you can't work. be the king if you don't put in work. <laughs> Ain't no love in this game. Nah. She don't want you, she chasing the fame. Fact. She ain't loyal, she chasing the ring. Brand. Let me do my thing. Watch me work, work, work. 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 Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so Simba K. Bronx beats and bars back in the building. Pretty hustler, exile in the building. Yeah, Ow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So before we go any further, so uh, exile, yeah, you've got What's a, you got a movie. <laughs> the gray area on Tubi. Yes, yes, yes. Tubi, yes. Tubi <laughs> in love. 
again. Oh my gosh. Yes, the gray area is out now on Tubi. Um I'm I appreciate all the love that I've been getting for it. Um, I'm not gonna hold you. Thank you. I watched it. Yeah. And it was really good. See, people have this whole misconception of two B movies. I'm telling you, now nah, we've they pick, two B movies. You. Be sometimes, sometimes it be alright. Nah, sometimes it be alright. And his Say, movie not, is alright. Yeah. First of all, you wrote it and executive produced it. So yes, big, thank you. big yeah, shout thank out you. to you, black man. Thank you, thank you. Big thank shout you. out to you for that. Because thank at you. the end of the day, I was like, alright, I know. I know what it was about, so I knew it wasn't going to be no bullshit with no little ketchup stained blood. He wasn't <laughs> shooting no babies on there. It wasn't none of that, that Tubi Hollywood <laughs> bullshit. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Nah, y'all ain't seen no, that. No, 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 no. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I knew that was going to happen. Lord. I've seen what, it. What, what, see, you know what I'm talking about. Nah, nah, I, know what I was you like, mean. now why the hell would they put that? Yeah. Now why would they do that? Nah, I know what you Cause mean. Because I was upset. I was like, now come on, y'all. The little boy was like, I'm just a kid. That girl shot him shot anyway. Him. Didn't care. And she was like, oh, you want to laugh too with your mother? Block out, block out. I was like, oh, they doing us wrong right oh now with the gosh. Tubi. But talk to, talk to us about um, the gray area. It's um, out on Tubi now. Make sure y'all check that out. Yes, yes. The gray area is pretty much uh, the standpoint of, it's talk from the standpoint of an independent artist who life is hitting them all within three days. You You're trying yeah. to balance a relationship you're trying to balance a regular job and you're trying to pursue what you love and it translates to anything it doesn't necessarily have to be uh artistry it can be anything that you love mm -hmm. so that's what the story is based on and within these few days you're watching him lose everything you're watching him lose um you know i don't not to give too much away but mm -hmm. you're watching him lose so much mm -hmm. and literally breaking down um trying to find some peace in, in a lot of places and at the same time still focus on what he wants to do. And yeah. I feel I feel like everybody, anybody in this room, anybody who's a real entrepreneur knows what that feels like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we always get told, um, we can't do, you can't do, you right. can't do, that, blah, 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 blah. And sometimes we get it from outside source. Sometimes we get it from within. Sometimes our family doesn't really believe right away because they don't see it. Sometimes right. your significant other doesn't see it right away because they don't see it. There's so many different variables. So how do you maneuver through that? And that's what the movie's about. Yeah, it was definitely dope. I was like, oh, it's only 46 minutes? I thought we was going to right. two hours. <laughs> but I was like, you know, you summed up so much. Like, it was like the pressure from the family, yeah. the pressure from your girl, the pressure from your job, and even just the fact that, like, it was a moment where in the movie that I really felt where you were, you was breaking down like when you was in the studio and everything was just like hitting you all at once. Yeah. And then you just broke it down to your people. It was like, what? This is going on. You know this is going on. This, and, and this is happening. Yeah. Like, come on. I'm, 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 I'm fucked up right now, but I'm, I'm trying. Like, did any of that, like, has any of that ever related to you in your career? Absolutely. Okay. I, I, I definitely spoke from... Uh, 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 from my a view of my standpoint because a lot of I, I've been through that. Yeah, I've been through that. Um, there are some things that are exaggerated, but for the most part, yes, I've absolutely been through all of that. Yeah. Um, I was able to capture the relationship aspect because so many of my relationships ended that way. Mm -hmm. Because in the beginning, they'll be like, "Yeah, I, I see it. I believe you." And, and then, it's good now that you have someone who right. understands. I'm just saying. I'm not going to say yeah. nothing, but yeah, it's good that you have somebody that's equally yoked with you. Yeah, you, Ow. Like, you need that. You need that. So with that, yeah. with that, with that, it's like in the beginning they'll get that, and then when they actually see what it is, mm -hmm. they start to like, well, wait a minute, hold up. I didn't think it was. Well, what you thought? I was doing this for play, play. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Same thing with the job. It's like you you wake up. Depending on what your job is, you right. wake up at six in the morning, hmm. seven in the morning, hmm. to be someplace that you technically don't want to be. Okay. But you know this money is to fuel what you need to do, so you have to stay it's there for your eight yeah. hours mm -hmm. and get off. Mm -hmm. After you get off from your eight hours, go pursue what you need to do because yes. the money you made for the day is going straight towards that, and you got to do it all over again next week. And I'm not gonna lie, like the music, yo, the verses, you was, it was hot. I was like. Yes, and I did the music. Oh, I did all the music for the movie. Uh, yeah, you did. I forgot yeah, about you did. I, I was I, like, and I'm bopping because you really was like, and I was like, spitting. Y'all gotta check it out. The great area on Tubi. Stop. I'm gonna need y'all bad and bougie asses to act like y'all don't. Y'all too good for Tubi because at the end of the day, you're not. Nah, this is. And fire. Tubi is fire. Even with the the Nigerian movies when they die in slow motion and they hilarious. 
Oh, I, you know this, this stuff I watch but, on Tubi just strictly for comedy right. purposes. But, but this this movie has so much significance, so much symbolism in it. Within 45 minutes, it's like you said, all right, we're going to wrap this shit up and we just going to summarize it and boom. Right. And it was like, damn, I really was into it. My son was like, mom, what you looking at? I was like, yo, this is pretty good. Like the music, everything was good and it was a great ending. And you guys got to check that out. I was like really impressed. I'm really proud of you. Thank I'm you. really happy that... You know what I'm saying? You did that. Shout out to my bro Ray Fame. Yeah, rest, rest in peace, Ray, Ray Fame. Fame. He was, he was um, in it, and I was like, "Whoa!" Like he was oh, super man. dope on set. Um, my only regret is I wish he got to see it before he passed. I know, man. He he. he anytime he kept asking me, mm. he because mm. what happened was the movie was shot in 2019, mm. and um, you know Ray Fame he he, he tried off the role, got the role, did his thing on the role. He like I was so proud of him. I always. To have a special place and he spit a him. little something yeah. in one of his scenes. I told him, I said, I, want you to, I said, I want you to rap. I want to showcase who you are. Dope. You know what I mean? So I definitely wanted him to showcase that. And we shot the movie. The movie was done, but we shot it in 2019. And once 2020 hit, we all know pandemic started to happen. Yeah. So that kind of showed, slowed and shut everything down. Right. And then we keep asking me, yo, when's it coming out? When it's coming out? I'm like, yo, I'm trying, bro. And again, that's one of my biggest regrets was he wasn't able to see it before he passed. Yeah. Because I wanted him to see it. He and I wanted him so to be proud, proud of it. He would have been so proud. You know what I mean? So I I told him, I said, I just as long as his 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 kids and his you know what I mean get to see it, then I'm good. Yeah. But for sure I'm I'm happy about that. And yeah. and I'm glad he did his thing for sure. How did you get that onto Tubi and everything? Like how did that all work out? Well, fast forward, because again it was it was two years since we right. shot it and um my, my my homie who who also who directed it shout out to Alicia Alicia Enterprises um she camera work and everything like that she she's been doing my videos and my content for the past eight years now mm-hmm. so if there's anybody and she is in the film industry she's got movies out on Peacock and Tubi right now um y'all go check that out um when she came to me with the the connect saying like listen I got the situation mm-hmm. that I got a deal to put everything on streaming platforms because that really literally was the goal uh-huh. I said all right cool no problem you know what I mean they presented me with a contract and everything like that so I'm like all right this seems legit right. and that was earlier this year mm-hmm. so once the deal was done all I had to do was wait for a release date gotcha and then one morning they just hit me and say hey the movie's out <laughs> I said like wait what what <laughs> they was like, yeah, no, the movie's out. They say like, usually it was on a Tuesday. They say, yeah, usually we drop on a Friday, but we dropped it on a Tuesday. Um, and me, I like to be prepared. I don't like to be caught off guard. Like I like gotcha. to have a whole rollout. I was literally working on a soundtrack, which I still kind of am nice. working on a soundtrack for the for the out for the uh, movie, which is still gonna come out. But now I gotta kind of take my steps backwards. I gotta, I gotta do it in reverse. I think there's so many different scenes that yeah. you can like have something like going on in the oh, background. Absolutely. Where yeah, I was like, oh, this absolutely. is dope. Like, yeah. So, so uh, we have a little preview. Not a little. I keep saying little, not to minimize what you're doing. Oh, you pardon me. No, no, so it's good. But we have the preview here to the gray area. Yeah. And uh, we want y'all to check that out real quick. And uh, we'll be back. Bronx beats and bars. September K. We have Pretty Hustler, we got Exile, we got Say Park in the building, and uh, right now y'all about to see the preview to the gray area. Make sure y'all check this out on Tubi yeah. as soon as this episode is over so that y'all can support my guy over here, okay? Let's get into okay. it. <laughs> Listen, it looks like she's about to break some shit in here, so I suggest you take that shit outside. Okay, what's up? Yeah. X, I can't do this anymore. Why not? Because I'm not good enough. Do what? This. Us. I can't anymore. Okay, please, not today, okay? Today's been an all-around fucked up day. Ex, do you hear what I'm saying? I'm done. Is this about last night? No! It's about us! About me! About everything! I am tired of coming second! Second to what? To your fucking music, ex! Okay, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? From day one, I told you this is my life, Kay! This is what I want to do, Kay! And from day one, I kept asking you, can you handle it? Can you handle it? And I made no promises to you, nigga. I said I would try. And I can't anymore. I would never let you choose between me and music. But you leaving is basically what you're doing. Making me choose without actually saying it. Really? Really, ex? You are so fucking selfish. I'm selfish. I'm selfish. From day one, I've done nothing but show you how much I love you. How much I do anything for you. 
anytime, if not every time, I put you before anything else. But I'm selfish, right? You just don't get it. You are never gonna stop chasing music. I tried, and I can't anymore. I can't wait for you to make it. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Please. I'm sorry. Okay, don't do this. Please. That was real shit. <laughs> She's for that. All right, so that was a preview, a little clip from, not a little, that was a clip from The Gray Area featuring Exile. We oh, was yeah. in the back talking because, like, y'all got to see the movie because at yeah. the end of the day, this is about a young man who is pursuing his dream of becoming an artist and everything that's happening against him. And it's like the main thing you want, you want somebody significant on your side. You want your partner to understand, like, yo, this is what I'm going through. You see what I'm going through because I'm most transparent with you. And you going to come to my job in a ivory colored trench coat <laughs> and you're gonna do me like this with the off-white realness the off-white. <laughs> you dirty bitch <laughs> when, when we shot when we shot you raggedy the, bitch you raggedy bitch <laughs> <laughs> when we when we shot the fucking nerve. When we like, shot that scene, um, shout shout to Shamise. Uh, she's a dope actress. Nice, um, she's nice. done so much. Cause she, yeah, because she got she me in my bed. I was tight. She when got we, me ready to run up on her like you raggedy <laughs> bitch. When we shot that scene, the restaurant we were shooting in, mm. everything stopped because everybody thought the, it was it was so real. The argument it was looks so real. So re- Everything and, stopped. Mm-hmm, and you were just like so passionate. I, like I really, I really enjoyed it. And yeah. I'm not just saying that because you on my show. I'm I really enjoyed it because it was a good fucking movie. I'm sorry. Like Thank you. everybody yeah, could right. great area looks like a great movie, and I think there will be many artists that can relate to this. Yes, yeah. beloved. Yes, sis. Yes. Thank you, thank you. They thank definitely can't. And that's something that I felt too, because I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I know a lot of bros. I know a lot of guys in this industry. And, you know, sometimes they significant others, others don't understand that. Right. But you got somebody that that's do. Like, that's who I wrote and it I, for. And shout out to the SI. <laughs> I like what I'm saying. I, 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 I'm just, you know, I love it. I love it. That's who I wrote it for. Okay. I wrote it for them. Like, I wrote it for, I wrote it for us. And it's dope. I wrote like, it for us. when I saw the credits, I was like, yes. One time for the executive producer and the, and the writer. Like, thank that's you, thank you. that's what's up. So before we go any further, we're going to get into another video from one of your, another artist that is on the venue. We're going to get into Bianca's Thunder. Yeah. Thunder. Oh. Yeah, no, nah, she killed that. Thunder's that. So thunder. Bianca's a headliner yes. for the show. Yes. yes. Thunder's that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Bianca's Bianca headliner. do her numbers. <laughs> yeah. Like, real real spit. <laughs> Bianca get into her shit. But, you know, I'm, ju- I'm trying to compact everything into, like, you know. Of course. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I love the fact that when I looked at the venue, I was like, oh, they got some heat. And then y'all had people that I didn't even know. So I was like, let me do my research and look into Absolutely. these people as well. And I'm just grateful that, you know, you guys, like, one of the artists, he's kind of like an alternative mm-hmm. rap yeah. type of thing. Maybe. And I think that that's dope because so many people are so afraid to touch outside genres that they're not accustomed to. And you guys took that leap of faith and said, fuck it, we're going to help him get this platform and we're going to help him, Absolutely. you know, get his fan base up and introduce him and introduce fans into this type of music mm-hmm. too. And I think that that's what it's all about. So when you have, you know, showcases, festivals and things of that nature like this, it's also to help the audience and the artists connect with each other so you know what i'm saying one time for interconnection that's all sorry, you know that's sorry, what i'm sorry, about sorry, you know sorry. what i'm saying like and it's a beautiful thing but right now we're gonna get into that thunder that thunder <laughs> she'll be like you want that thunder <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, so shout out to loose <laughs> shout out loose and we're gonna get into that thunder <laughs> Bitches 
looking for that thunder, thunder. So I turn around and shake that thunder. I ain't gotta do too much for you to want some. Come up, now they fucking want me on the come up. Credit booster, so I'm tired of being too nice. New price, I'm the blueprint to a true wife. I'm like an itch, you gotta get it, cause it's too right. And it's shambada when you put it in the moonlight. Bring the wolves out. Smoking on that door, that should be too loud. Too proud. Everybody telling me they too proud. Walking on these haters, chugging up a deuce now. Now they look, now they check for me. We ain't speaking if it ain't about to check for me. Respectfully, I was born a goat, can't get next to me. Pedigree, always keep it cute, face to the feet. I heard these bitches looking for that thunder, thunder. So I turn around and shake that thunder. I ain't gotta do too much for you to want some. Come up, now they fucking with me on the come up. Credit booster, so I'm tired of being too nice. New price, I'm the blueprint to a true wife. I'm like an itch, you gotta get it, cause it's too right. And the shambada when you put it in the moonlight. Mmm, main course, not an appetizer. For the fame, I'ma call it, I need them empire. Brain on everybody with MMs. Walk that email. I'm getting so much love, fuck a hate crowd. Make you want some, shaking up that thunder. Only care for money if it's coming by the long song. Bring the thunder, bring the bitches I could rub on. Not a blessing, just be coming in a bundle. I heard these bitches looking for that thunder, thunder. So I turn around and shake that thunder. I ain't gotta do too much for you to want some. Come up, now they fucking with me on the come up. Credit booster, so I'm tired of being too nice. New price, I'm the blueprint to a true wife. I'm like an itch, you gotta get it, cause it's too right. And it's shambada when you put it in the moonlight. As we are back, like we were just in this in the back talking about Bianca. Like Bianca is really one of those artists that she really got her shit together. She got her choreo, she got her crew, she got her fan base. Shout out to Elus for being such a dope manager Fresh. and supporting her and whatnot. And shout out to you guys once again for providing this platform for these artists so that they can showcase their talent and really do their big ones out here. You know what I'm saying? And you know that's what it's all about because a lot of people feel like the indie scene is one of those scenes where it's like here today, going tomorrow, and you'd be surprised. That'd be the person who will be in conversations five years from now that y'all wish y'all could be, you know, in the room with. Right. So for us, like, right. you know, creatives to give these type of platforms to them, it's like, it's a it's a dope thing. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So run down everything about this festival again. Is it a festival or are we doing a showcase? Are we classifying it as a... It's a festival. It's a, it's a festival. festival. Be, let me be very clear. I'm going to say this in all caps. Oh, it shit. is not a showcase. It is not an open mic. Oh no! It's this definitely not an open a mic. Concert slash festival. Concert this is slash what festival. This is a repeat. Not a showcase. Not an open mic. An open mic means anybody can pay twenty dollars and get on that stage. Mm -hmm. A showcase means fifty people can pay a hundred, two hundred dollars for five minutes and go up there and perform in front of all the other artists that are on the bill that night. And we're this, not doing that. And we're not doing that. <laughs> this is a festival slash concert where the vendors can do their thing. And the artists who are highlighted can do their thing. Mm -hmm. And they will be highlighted. And they will like, be highlighted. I already have it all planned out when it comes to this festival. I, I just had a like I had I had a vision, and then I matched it with his vision, and then it was just like this is what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. And then we just been seeing it through ever since. Like, mm -hmm. and every year it's gonna get bigger and bigger. The venues are gonna get bigger. That's partially why I took the time to do a media tour because I wanted to see what's out there like right. how can i improve the things that i'm doing mm -hmm. and i've been to so many festivals and let me tell you new york y'all ain't doing it but we <laughs> look but go we... to commercial go to commercial go to commercial but no but we're here and we there are some that i can say oh my god kudos you guys did a really good job so what do you think new york should do better just more unity and stop being so uh, like greedy you know what I'm saying? Like, greedy in what way? Greedy as far as like money hungry. Like, oh, okay, if you're gonna try to, if you're gonna make this a money thing, and you're gonna try to get to the bag by mm -hmm. using people's other create, other people's creativity and artistry to get to that point, mm -hmm. right? You just have to make sure that it's a very good experience. Like, it needs to look like an experience, not just this is a club. I'm putting, I'm exactly what he said. I'm putting fifty people on the bill. Y'all all, all got to pay such and such amount of money. Y'all going to perform for two minutes <laughs> or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then go about your business. And then the chance to win 500 or whatever amounts of cash that and promises, up to. Promises that somebody, <laughs> promises of somebody okay. is significant like, so to be in the building. 
Uh-huh. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying. Promises I mean, of somebody, oh. promises of somebody of importance will be in the building. <laughs> that, Y'all going to fuck off? Nah, on my this side. is what it is. No. Promises that somebody from somewhere is going to be in the building. There's a special guest coming in. There's a special guest coming in. Not even, not even special guest, uh, invited guest. Invited guest. Because you sent the email, that means you could put that, them that on the you're, That you invited oh, them. Oh my god, it just be so much so effery. We, just, we just don't want to put nothing on where the artists feel cheated. So what I do you be, feel I that, what are some tips that you feel New York festival promoters, Ooh. you know, concert uh, curators, event curators should have that you've learned from outside New York uh, put events? Put some value behind your, behind your work, behind okay. what you're creating. As an event curator, I have to put value, like the flyers go out, um, everybody gets a flyer, the banner is done properly i make mm-hmm. sure that media is in attendance there's great video photography like doing interviews before and after the event like okay. we're still talking about the event weeks after like there's mm-hmm. actual footage and proof people are having fun the vendors are quality because i've had some experiences it's just putting value behind the things that you're creating and curating gotcha so i don't want to bash anybody because this is not a bashing session this is more so of a I've experienced some things and I've seen things done differently and I just want us to learn from those things and stop looking at it as this is an opportunity for me to come up. Yes, but we can all come up. It shouldn't be a thing where people are feeling cheated, one, or Mm -hmm. people are feeling um, not valued, like devalued in a sense. Like that's because you're not putting value behind what you're presenting. Everything okay. that I have ever touched has always had value. Nobody can ever tell me that it was whack. Talk your shit, queen. And I'm not even saying- Talk your shit, queen. I can't say, people, even before he was a, a part of the events, he went in attendance and, and as a performer mm-hmm. and has said each and every time that it was fire. And down to the brunches. That's a fact. The brunch, yo. That's a fact. Everything has been fired. Nobody can ever say it was whack or they the felt brunch, cheated or the whatever brunch, the case may be. Elite. Yeah. I really, and the dank, yeah, house of dank. Because yeah. I put value behind the yeah. things that I create and it's just because I care about other people and, and I, I sometimes care about other people's feelings too much. But right. I care about other people and how people perceive me. Perception is really big to me. Yeah. And I want people to look and say, oh, nah, this is a quality brand and I respect it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And his name is on it too. I want people to say us as a team. And I definitely care about my name. Not it's, to say that she don't. But, right. <laughs> it's um, quality yeah. and that we're not putting out crap and that people people would want to come back more. Like we've had we have returned artists and people that be like, Dad, I wish I could come like last minute, two minutes. They yeah. save time for this event right. because they know it's always on September. Well, we try. Yeah. Next yeah. year <laughs> we try. No, no, we try so to make we, it September 9th. We we, I, we I, don't I, make it any later for the past three years, we haven't made it any later than September 9th. It's always been the first week or the second week. So we try okay. to keep with that uh, that ritual of keeping it no later than the second week of September. It's in September, for sure. September 9th, yes. it starts at, what, 5? Seven. Seven. 7, excuse me, I'm sorry. It starts at 7 p.m., no illegal substances. Yeah, no, nah, none of that. Oh, you see my facts? So <laughs> deem illegal, because you know certain <laughs> things are legal and certain yeah. things ain't. So I said illegal. So that means y'all can smoke butt, because that's legal. Outside. No, let me stop. Outside, right. Outside. Not in the, like, we have a fact. We have facts. We have facts. Yeah. Let me read that off. You know, read, read, it off. Off. Yeah. read it off now. So this is a 21 and only, 21 plus only event. Tickets will be available at the door and also at Eventbrite. Make sure y'all have that. There's no outside alcohol, food, drinks allowed. And that's reasonable because we're going to have Bella. Bella Cakes is going right. to be there catering and the food's going to be sold out in five minutes. Oh, so y'all fact. better get there early and get y'all plates because Bella... Definitely puts her foot in her food and is definitely elite. That potato salad, that's all I'm, my mouth is working. First of all, her potato salad is elite. Let's not talk about that. She already know how I feel about the right. potato salad. First of all, I really was like, hello. Bella got to have a pan aside for me for my potato salad. Facts. Actually, now that you think that's about it. it. No weapons of firearms. Like, come on, people. They doing this for the community. <laughs> so don't even think y'all going to be on some ra ta 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 Y'all not doing that. If I got to leave it at home, you got to leave it at home. <laughs> Simple. Okay, because don't nobody feel like gangbanging in this back to school I, week and shit. We want these I, kids to come back. If I got to leave it in the crib, you got to leave it in the crib, oh, bro. God. No illegal substances allowed. We don't want to see nobody in there shooting dope. Don't do... 
If you still, if you're still, if you're still, we are not in Oregon. If you're still shooting dope, don't come to back to the block. Go First of all, you shooting dope. To the nearest we have. You to. need a re. Yes. Don't there's no re-entry. Dirty drug. Go to the so, nearest re-entry. She said that's a dirty drug. That's but there's drug. no re-entry. So no re-entry means don't think you coming back out. You better meet your friends at the gate. Facts. And had their asses coming in. Facts. And that's for the benefit of the of the artists and the vendors as well. Nah, because... but this got it. No animals. We do not want to see Grandma's cat at the venue. Stop thinking that you're gonna bring in your dog. Like, no birds on. either. No now, birds no, but either. if it's like a if it's a service animal, <laughs> then that may be no different. No birds, all female type alike. No birds, no actual birds, no <laughs> Why bird would you females. Say no females all time. I know a couple of bitches. Never mind. No birds. Uh, yeah. It's uh, getting bright again. Yeah, you got to put them blue blockers. You see, I got my blue blockers on. <laughs> but so, yeah. So make sure y'all check that out before we leave, because we got about 10 minutes left. We're going to get into this next video. We're going to get into this next video with Exile. Yeah. What we got, yo? Slow we got, down? Slow down freestyle? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, so. is it all working? Wait, wait, wait. We got it with Exile and Nico Tesla. Yes. yes. Slow down freestyle, exile, Nico Tesla, shout out to Nico And Tesla. then we're going to get into these bars because you know this is what Bronx Beats and Bars is all about. And it's funny because when you had the Sweet 16 like tur- tournament, I have a Sweet 16 segment of my show. Nice. And I always was like, Yo, I hope this girl don't ever think that I took Sweet 16. Oh, no. But... And I don't want her to. Off the- <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, I don't ever want her to think no, that we just. I would just- never. I would never think that. And and I need people to stop with that uh, thought process. Like, pe- it's okay for people to, to have, have the same yeah similar ideas because I love. First community. of all, she did it like the NCAA, and I was like, this is fucking impressive. Like, you got these bars that we gonna talk because we could have like a Sweet Sixteen live here at Bronx Beats and Bars. Ooh, because I always wanted to do that. I mean, we could talk. Let's get it. We charge him at the door. Have Big Al in the back doing security. Because Al don't play. He don't. No, Al's really be like, I'll smack the shit. What? (laughs) My son is a second degree black belt. He don't give a fuck. He'll be like, I'll bite your ear like Tyson. And that's that. My son ready to kick somebody. First of all, my son will beat the shit out of somebody. That's just, you know, he got this hand. Like this golden (laughs) glow. Like he, like the ultimate warrior. Like, ugh. (laughs) So we got nine minutes left. So we about to get into this freestyle. Then we gonna get to exile freestyle. Al Bronx beats the bar. September K. We in the building. Let's go. Oh. Uh. Hey yo, ex. Yeah. Tell these niggas I'm not the one to scrabble with. Go play words with friends with your mother. Go, go. <laughs> on. It's Queens by all means. By all means, it's Queens. Exile. South side, we outside. Queens get the money. Grizzly. It's Nico, nigga. He a legend of you, but to me he a flea A Robert Ori, a goat ain't win as many as me From the back block, nigga, where them gangsters roam You pussy, when you was young, you took the long way home The wolves is out, track me in front of your house Doing laps around the crib, put the stick in your spouse I'm the blunt with no grabber, you don't want no smoke Suffocating everybody, now who won't get choked? That's your bitch, you wife then didn't rent her yeah. I popped off a punchline and Applebee's dinner Fact. She a smut, you love her and still want it back We treat her like an Instagram picture, she getting double tap uh, Double tap, shorty got handed off like a running back Running back, show up anywhere you niggas mummy at Rap dummy, hit the reverse, I mean you dummy rap Pull cards, get rid of you all, I'm playing pretty uh, back Money the root of evil, I'm a certified sinner yes. Stick up kid and you niggas is all dinner uh-huh. Stuck in the hood cause karma won't let me get far yeah. I been robbing the poor before Brett fall King Kong, go ape shit, you monkey swing roll Exile, Nico, back and forth like Bing Bong Big Queen will never disrespect me Bing Bong, not wrong, get your bell rung Ding Dong No squares in my circle, nigga, that's fair warning uh-huh. So act tough and end up at Jesus' house warming Go on. A bunch of suckers that know how to spin it yeah. Replica niggas just claiming they authentic Woo. Flip side, you can meet the devil on his moving day Move away, you gon' take an L if niggas pass the cape Pass away, only other option if you take it there Try me in my circle, put your body in a square these broke niggas took money from lower tax brackets yes. I'm like Serena retired, he trying to hear the racket uh-huh. You loyal to a snake? Well that sucks for you I'm Giannis of this rap shit When I win, then my brother do And he an excellent shooter That'll get you ruined All he know is body and blood Like he take communion uh-huh. These young niggas is lame They always claim thoughts She got a sucker wrapped around a finger You a ring pop Go time, I'm back pushing the goal line Move like the son of an ape And think I'm Gohan Moron, kick shit off They know it's showtime They see you but don't know your name Mo- Woodbine. 
pain management, causing brain damage. Niggas still tripping like, what the fuck is happening? This a bar check, welcome to the bar flex. You ain't got no ID, suck up my establishment. <laughs> yeah. X. Right. There's big queens in here, you know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, you niggas gotta rap now. You niggas gonna have to rap now. Slow down. Slow down for what? For what? Y'all niggas gotta <laughs> rap now. Oh, he said none of that ABC, my manimal, manimal. Oh, he said, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm done. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we about to end this episode. I want to thank my guest, Say Park, Pretty Hustler Exile, for joining me today. It's been a pleasure. It's been dope. For those of y'all who don't know, we're going to give it to the to the Pretty Hustler Exile again to let y'all know where next week's um, event is going to be, next week's festival. Make sure y'all go support. Shout out to all the performers. Shout out to everybody that's going to be there. It's going to be a really great show, so make sure y'all support the team and whatnot. Uh, I give it to y'all once again. Let them know where it's going to be. Awesome. Me, you. Good, good. <laughs> Back to the Block Festival 3 is going to be at the Brooklyn Monarch. Um, in the Brooklyn Monarch is the Mona Lisa studio. So that's where it will be 7 to 12 a.m. 7 to 12 a.m. or p.m.? 7 to midnight. Oh. 7 to midnight. A.m. Yeah. <laughs> no. 7 to midnight for those who don't understand. 7 p.m. Yeah, 7 p.m. But p.m. Is, is afternoon. Right. Oh, y'all gonna be there in the morning, 7 a.m.? No. That's what I'm saying. This she one, said right, so let, let me try. Let's try this again. Back to the block. Come down, select off. Back Rewind. Block. Back to the block three. <laughs> Brooklyn Monarch. Mona Lisa Studio Suite. Okay. 7 p.m. to midnight. Thank you. Because I was like, what the fuck? Tickets on sale. <laughs> tickets on sale at Eventbrite. And how much are the tickets? Because don't act like y'all don't. I, come on now. Matter of fact, it's $23.81. Right. Right. Stop acting cute like y'all ain't got $23.81. If you didn't get paid on the first, you're getting paid on the damn eighth. You spend more on weed. Stop it. Listen. And then the you spend weed. Not... Oh, you spend money on mid. I yeah. know a place. Ooh, not mid. Hmm. So please get your tickets. Get your tickets. It's gonna be yeah, crazy. Yeah, come support. It's gonna be a you dope show. You already know show. the lineup. You already know what's going down. Exactly. Let's, let's make it happen. Exactly. Yes. So before we end, you know, in the in in the spirit of Bronx beats and bars, we definitely doing the Sweet Sixteen segment of our show, and we definitely gotta have Exile doing his thing, you know, because I don't wanna, you know, I done sung say to death. <sighs> so <laughs> that was that was the voice she gave you. That saying? was yes, no, Christ. Really. No, no, I really no, was, no, was like. <sighs> Oh, and that's it. That's what I got. 16. Fuck y'all. Like, y'all not gonna do me dirty. So let's get into this sweet 16 segment of the show. Big Al, let's get that You Can't Stop the Rain freestyle popping. Exile about to take us out of here. Shout yeah. out to everybody that tuned in today. We'll be back September 16th with my birthday episode, Ooh. Big Virgo Energy. Yeah, it's gonna be a nasty time. Y'all, the, 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 the phone lines will be open. Everything is going to be crazy. We're going to be, we might have some people. I don't want to say Mitchell. I'll talk here and say Mitchell. So we're going to have some little people right. shaking. We're going to have some Luke dances. We might get Heather Hunter's comeback. I don't know. Check. You turn the beat up a little bit. Check. That's how it's going. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Check. Yeah. As I sit back, relax, roll blunts from Dontax, catch a contact every time I talk, how's that? Cash in my denim, flows, I spit venom, deadly to my enemies, you ain't friend of me, keep my weapon close. I crush those who didn't oppose, went from no name, now they know me everywhere I go. It's a habit, I be stunting, need my cash in abundance, all about home-cooked food and good fucking. They don't want to see me lose it, if I never get my way, I become a nuisance. Yeah. Talk tough, get your face scuffed with Timberland tats. Just when you thought it was over, I bounced back. Who is he? Bandana with name attached, no need to ask. Just pointing where the smoke be at, I'm all for it. How could you doubt the rain pouring? The dream is to achieve wealth and push for it. 
new era Don't get capped off top for coming out your mouth Young or old foes get pop. It's amazing how I string these words Nobody's safe I'm a product of the old heads telling me gain weight in other words, make noise or shut the fuck up So many friends faded, simply they couldn't keep up My feet keep moving in place just like a treadmill So when I'm on the move, I'm juggernaut, I can't stand still Never been afraid of a nigga who bars a par Me, I'm on the move like 1am in a stolen car Down the conduit, them roads bumpy as fuck I'm a man on a mission, hit the gas and go missing They don't wanna give me respect, I take a shit on niggas And wipe my ass with their phony praises <laughs> Trust me, it's all about the line gang. So when I holla bang bang, duck could do the same king. <laughs> check, 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 check. Uh, check, check. Yo. I said, self-made, I've been cooking up since the fifth grade. Heavy bars of brick, no need to cut shit. I'm pure dope and they know it. Go ask my clientele. Audio blow, no joke, I'm guaranteed to sell. More lines than a polygraph, I got them mad Niggas try to run my race, I cut them at the calf Warning shots from the roof, I make them think twice You think you're nice? I'm nicer than who you think is nice I see the slight, my circle shine like a ring light These frail niggas talk about guns cause they don't wanna fight I see the sign from a distance like highway exit You still yapping? Damn, I guess you ain't learned your lesson Now in what world you thought you was ever better? Not even close to my clever, get roasted in any weather It's still a mismatch, don't let me back you down Homie, you can ask around Top of my class, I want my masters now I'm in the lion's den plotting my next meal Luckily you niggas keep coming providing fresh kills <laughs> You must be choking off peyote smoke Thinking you can hang with me, don't let me get the rope I've been sturdy, been peeping you niggas early Still walking around like you body, but pussy pink like you Kirby I make you nervous cause every line is a gut check And you ain't said shit to make me think you was ever best They call me X, an example of rap supremacy Every bar is a felony, I'm just waiting for sentencing Every so often you niggas beg for a coffin Every time you say my name it's like Destiny Child endorsements Keep your eyes on the road, don't swerve this way A recipe for accidents, blue and white, yellow tape Red flares, sirens, and a whole bunch of commotion And you gon' see it all before your spirits start floating Diddy vibe, can't stop, won't stop In the middle of December, K, I'm still this hot huh. I can keep going, believe it or not September 9th, grab your tickets, we back to the block September K, Bronx beats and bars <laughs> Pretty Hustler, Exile, Safe Park. We in the building. BX Stand Up. I want to thank everybody that was tuned in today. I love y'all. We'll be back September 16th for the birthday episode. I hope y'all ready. Big Virgo Energy. Make sure y'all come out September 9th. Back to the block. BK, yes. Stand Up. Let's get it, y'all. One love. I access radio. Peace, y'all. Yes. Out. Oh, that was... Dope. I love that. Talk your shit. <laughs>